What do you think is the significance of Solomon's Temple? Oh, there's, uh, there are many things written, I mean, movies made, Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, referencing the Ark of the Covenant. Um, uh, and there's various um, Temple of Doom, references to temples and things of this nature. The um, significance of Solomon's Temple is far outreaching, outstripping this. Um, conservative Jewish people pray every day that the Temple of Solomon will be rebuilt. Realistically, by way of religion today, they may or may not be praying for the Temple of Herod, which I submit to you as Temple number three. Temple number one and two, Temple number one being the first King six Temple of Solomon, the rectangular one. Temple number two being the Nehemiah Temple, the square temple could and should possibly be rebuilt. Which is more material to the Jewish people to build number one, number two, number three, or all three? They pray about the reconstruction of the temple. They actually believe prophetically that the temple will be rebuilt. In order to rebuild the Temple of Solomon, you have to learn where it is, what it looks like, how it was built. We haven't fully understand it, stood that. We take you through a series on our website, SolomonSeries.com, show you how to recognize the temple, construction type and style, geography, location. We're told the Bible tells us specifically where it is. There's no other piece of dirt it could be. And we're told we just really haven't read it close enough. There are a number of items and issues in the Bible where it tells us the temple is li listed here, here, here. And what we do is we take a, uh, the geography references to the builds, the rebuilds, the construction, the destruction, all the, the issues and things that happen to the temple, and we overlay them. And once you finish the overlay, there's only one piece of real estate in the world that perfectly aligns with that location. And amazingly, we find a temple there, we find a city there, we find a number of things.